In this snip, we're going to see how we can manage quota templates in SharePoint Server using central administration. Quota templates are used to control the growth that you can have on your site collections. To create a new quota template, navigate to Application Management, and under Site Collections, click on Specify Quota Templates. Choose Create a new quota template. In the drop-down menu, you can choose from a new blank template, also a personal site. I'm going to leave it at new blank template for now. Give it a name. The name that you give is entirely up to you, but I would not advise to put the maximum storage in the name because if you want to change this quota template, you will not be able to change the name. So let's say you put TechSnip quota 5 gigs and you want to change and increase the size to 10 gigs, for instance, you're going to be able to change the storage, but not the name and your template will still mention 5 gigs. Now let's give a maximum storage, 5 gigs. And you can also specify if you want to receive an email if the storage reaches a certain size. So usually 80% is a good number. So 80% of 5 gigs. Be aware that if you want to receive an email, you will need to have the outgoing email settings configured in SharePoint server. Same goes for the sandbox solutions. You can send warning emails, but you will need to have this setting configured. When done, click on OK. And let's verify that the quota has been created. Go back to specify quota templates and expand the drop down menu. And here we have it. Now click Cancel to go back to the previous page. The next logical step would be to apply this new template to a site collection. You could apply this template to a brand new site collection, or you can also apply this template to an existing site collection. In this example, let's create a new site collection. Under Site Collections, click on Create Site Collections. I'm going to go over this very quickly, but if you need more information on how to create a new site collection, I have another video on how to manage site collections in SharePoint Server, so just go and check it out. And at the bottom of the site collection creation page, this is where we can select our quota. Expand the drop down menu and select your quota. It gives you an indication of the size and click on OK. Let's verify that the quota template has been applied to the site collection. Click on the site collection link. Go to the gear icon, site settings. And under site collection administration, we have storage metrics. On the top right corner, you can see we have five gigs. Great. Now let's go back to central admin. Click OK for the previous page. And let's modify the quota template that we just created. Click on Specify Quota Template. Choose the template that you want to modify. And let's say that 5 gigs is not enough. We want to give 10 gigs to this site collection. Increase the storage. And also the warning email if you wish to do so. And click on OK. When you modify the values like we just did in a quota template, this is not applied automatically to the site collection if any site collections have this template applied to them. So this is a manual process. And we know already that we applied this quota template at 5 gigs to a site collection. So if we want to have this site collection at 10 gigs, we need to modify it manually. And to do that, go to Configure Quotas and Locks, choose your site collection, This is the one we just created. Click OK. And under Current Quota Template, we can see the template that is currently applied to this site collection. We see the new numbers, 10 gigs, and 80% of those 10 gigs. But this doesn't mean that it's been applied to the site collection. If I go to the site collection, and I'm going to refresh the page, we still have 5 gigs in here. So we definitely need to click on OK for this to be reflected on the site collection. Let's check that out. 
Let's go back to the site collection, refresh the page, and now we have the 10 gigs. Perfect. Now the last step from central administration would be to delete the quota template if you don't need it anymore. Go to specify quota templates, select your template, and click on delete. Are you sure you want to delete this quota template? Yes, click OK. And it's now been deleted. And this is how you can manage quota template and apply those quota templates in SharePoint Server using Central Admin. Thank you for watching.